save me, she saved me life. Well, the plan, the plan was to go up and see the peregrine falcons. Yeah, because I'd seen a male catch a pigeon on the dark one and the female uh, I hadn't seen at this stage. I was going back up the hill with my dog, uh, Molly, and uh, went, got up to the Voico, everything was grand. The weather was beautiful. The tide was black out. Got up, got up to the green bridge to where all the nudies go, and they go on to the other side where I was climbing down, and other side to look across at a plucking post. And there was a walkway, right? A walkway, and there was a crack along it. It was a handy walkway, but the crack. And all I had to do was get around there, and a the dog would have been only about 15 foot above my head in the hedge, and I would have told to stay. Going across, and I seen this little lovely plants that grow on, on the sea, sea plants, it's wild. And I was going along there, but I just pulled one out. And the wind's coming up like that and the cliff underneath me. And when, when I pull it out, um, I'm looking at it, but the dust, the grains of sand, and that, that got into my eye. So I was holding on, and I had binoculars, and of course they were banging off the wall. And I was, then I was doing that and put my hand back up to that one and then I done this way like that. And it wasn't the same width there it was, that it was there that I pulled the little plant out of. And when I got my fingers into that, they just came over and then went again to go. I went, ooh, ooh. Uh, the lights went out. And I hit the, the binoculars done a lot of the damage to my head here. You know, it was mad what the doctor's done. So I just remember screaming, oh, oh, oh. And once I went back, something in the body says, you're going to sleep now for the good reason. Because you know, we don't have to put you up at this pain at this landing. So it was out cold. There must be someone up there who lost me. Don't remember nothing. Just woke up in hospital. And that was that on it. Next minute, uh, Helena and Fergus, my man and dad, came in. Uh, this was probably a week, week, two weeks later when I came around and all. And uh, a nurse says to me, Molly did that, what happened to Molly Luke? And they, uh, they said, yes, we walked up and she kind of dragged this elderly woman and man up the road towards him, up the Vico. They lived in one of them lovely houses looking out into the bay. And she, they knew when they seen what she was doing, she was running up and barking at them. You know the lassie crack? Running back down and barking down to where I was over the cliff. Cause she couldn't get down anywhere close to it because of the, you know. And, uh, she ran back, back up, back down, barking, barking, following me, following me, barking. And this young lad, young, luckily enough, the young lad was, you know, well able to climb, like, and he came down with his, his girlfriend, so he was able to shimmy over, and you have to kind of walk around a bit at that cliff edge. And when he came around, he says, there's a bloke in the rocks down there. Amazing, absolutely amazing. You know, your dog is your best bleeding friend. No doubt about it. Saved me, she saved me life. I can't swim. Tide comes in, I drowned. i never forget that day. Never, ever, ever again. What's she done for me? Charlie and little jewels I was gonna keep, I gave him to a friend. And Charlie I kept, but I kept her because of a little beauty spot. But um, she's a fabulous dog, she just can't get into the right areas, that's all you know. And she's uh, very like, very like her mommy and daddy. 
Charlie, Charlie died early. She got encephalitis. She was only seven. I had never held on to a dog and I slid down and I cried like a baby. And I mean, Lord, because I knew that, you know, I had to blame myself because it had to be me. I should have got a shot stone earlier. I just picked it up and, oh, fuck, man. Looking into her eyes and all, just down. You could see the life going out of the pupil, everything. Just being bigger, fuck. I wouldn't wish it on anyone to lose their dog. It's all, all, all the same characters, really happy. They're all lovely. You know, your dog is your best bleeding friend. No doubt about it.